Hello YouTube and welcome to my new channel, Nittleman. For those of you new to my channel, I review movies. I was inspired by the channels of Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman, and The Schmoes Know. I watch those guys all the time and they really inspired me to do this myself. Now while each of those channels and many other channels have their own type of rating system, I developed my own new rating system for movies. Because to me, a movie isn't as easily rated as a 1 through 5, or a good or bad, or a see it or don't see it. I have a relationship with movies, just as I think everyone has a certain relationship with movies. So this video, just to be quick, is going to go over my rating system, starting with the worst going to the best. My lowest rated movies are movies you want to avoid altogether because they are a catfish. And they are movies that are trying to make you think that they're good and they are just shit. These are movies like Battlefield Earth, Catwoman, Troll 2, and Batman and Robin. These are movies that are just totally horrible and you should just never see them because they are not worth your time. The next step on the ladder is the rating of blue balls. And these teases of movies are not gonna give you anything close to what you expected out of them. These are movies like Hangover 3, The New Ninja Turtles, Transporter Refueled, and Star Wars Episode II Attack of the Clones. Movies that you just, you were expecting to be good or you were hoping to be good, and they just completely disappointed you. All right, the next rating up is going to be movies that you're just gonna wait till they're out of theaters because they are going to be a one night stand. <laughs> movies that you're going to see once and you're probably gonna forget completely about for the rest of your lives. Movies like Cloverfield, Chappie, Taken Two, Lucy, John Carter, Movies that may be good or may not be good, it doesn't really matter. They're just movies that you see. They're not necessarily good or bad. They're just forgettable. You have a one night stand with them and you just never really deal with them again. All right, the next rating is gonna be movies that you're gonna wanna see at the matinee price because they are friends with benefits. They're movies that are entertaining and fun with some replay value, but there's just not enough substance to you know, be taken seriously. A lot of movies that fall into this category are comedies and action movies. Movies like The Lego Movie, Christmas Vacation, Mortal Kombat, and Transformers. These are just straight popcorn movies, movies you can have fun with. They may not be super technically speaking good, but they're movies that just entertain you. All right, the next rating system starts to get into the good stuff. These are movies that you wanna see at full price, see on opening day, it's girlfriend material. <laughs> These are movies that have depth and substance and they deserve your respect. These are movies like The Departed, Iron Man, Independence Day, and A Few Good Men. These are those movies that are memorable, things that you'll recommend to friends. These are those types of movies that you go buy on DVD because you know they're good and you want to own them. All right, so now for my top ranking. These are the movies that you wanna go get a ring and a proposal idea because these movies are marriage material. <laughs> These movies are perfect in every way, and you want to bring all your friends and family to meet your new lover. These are those Oscar-winning movies. You can't find one flaw with them. The ones that become classics. The ones that when someone says they haven't seen that, you're just like, What? And you sit them down, you put the DVD in, and you force them to watch it. These are movies like The Godfather, The Lord of the Rings trilogy, Avatar, The Matrix, and whiplash. Those movies that when the credits start rolling, you don't even get out of your seat right away because you're sitting there just in awe of what just took place. So again, keep in mind with my rating system, it's not necessarily a ranking of good to bad. It's a ranking of your relationship that you're gonna have with that movie. So hopefully you like my rating system, maybe it's a little bit different, maybe something you can kind of relate to. Please subscribe to my channel and you can start watching all my videos. I'm gonna be putting them out every week. I'm gonna try to see as many movies as possible and I hope you enjoy.